Alright, I thought I'd take a closer look at some of the home video releases over the years that are of the lesser known format. Uh, so there's some 8mm video here, 8-inch uh, laser disc, which I don't see shown often on YouTube. Uh, I'll show an RCA video disc out of the sleeve, and some other interesting things that I have come across. Um, these are the 8mm ones I'm talking about. Now, this regular VHS tape, 8mm, so you can see how small these cassettes are. A lot of people use these for their home videos for a long time. Super 8, High 8, but uh, these I've read were used for videos shown on airlines in the 80s. Now, they have same like nice little artwork that VHS tapes have had over the years, beta tapes, you know, glossy cover, info about the movie on the back, studio released it, that released it. Um, most of the ones I have, in fact, all the ones I have are Warner Brothers or RCA Columbia. But uh, yeah, there's, there's one out of the case, wraparound sticker. Just like your standard uh, 8mm tape you'd use for taping your home videos, but yeah, these are the only titles I've come across. I just think they're so interesting looking, being so, as tiny as they are. Um, here's an HD VHS tape, very short-lived format. It actually plays in 1080i though, so damn near full HD, which most people would think impossible from a VHS tape, but the tapes look exactly the same. If it wasn't for the printing, you wouldn't know that it's not a standard VHS, but you had to have a obviously a digital um, VHS player to play these tapes. This is showing a little blurry, but anyway, yeah. Most of them came in these gray cases, I guess, to distinguish them on the shelves. But, yeah. And I mentioned an RCA video disc, which some people confuse with laser discs. But this, you know, they come in these blue or, or white sleeves, like outer plastic uh, sleeves. And you would insert the whole thing into, into the machine. There's videos showing that on YouTube, but I don't know if I've seen any videos showing what the discs themselves look like. They're, they're a lot like a record. Now, I'm not going to be able to pick that up exactly, but you can see at some angles here, you can see the grooves. It's giving the reflective look of a CD, but it's nothing like a CD. It's more tiny, tiny grooves that were actually read by a needle, so there was contact happening. Anyway, yeah, that's what... I don't really care that I'm taking it out because I don't even have a player and I'm unlikely to ever care enough to get one, but this is what the inside of a, an RCA video disc looks like. These little tab things at the top keep it from coming out unless you like poke it with a pen or something. <clears throat> um, here's an 8 inch, I think it's 8 inch, uh, laser disc. They were used for music videos or little promotional releases. Anyway, it's the We Are the World video. Um, here you can see that's a standard size laser disc on the shelf. This is smaller. There. Yeah. I don't come across these that often, but so I thought I'd show them since they were out there at one time. Um, here's a beta and a clamshell, you know, the big box style, but sm small beta tape inside. I know this is fairly uninteresting to most movie collectors, because I'm sure they've seen these, but I thought I'd try and compile all this stuff in one video. There's a bunch of big boxes with, uh, the flap where they had the cast or other little movie info inside, and the movie sat in a plastic tray. This one's in rough shape, but yeah. Um, yeah, this was from, this is a VHS tape released by one of the first home video uh, publishers releasing tapes. It's magnetic video. There's their logo there. And you can see 
it's, not, it's coming out blurry, but it says Magnetic Video, a 20th Century Fox Company. So this is from 1980. It's copyright on the back, but I think they existed since sometime in the late 70s, maybe 77 or 8, out of Michigan in the U.S. Here's some of the other titles. Which, yeah, anyway. I like this cover. And here's um, an interesting... You can see that that's embossed, sort of 3D, and if you push here, his eyes light up. Just a very interesting VHS cover, I think. For the movie Dead Pit. Yeah. And, yeah, I guess that's all. This is my Laserdisc collection there. I hope to show it off someday. Um, I guess that's all. Yeah. Over and out.